Now that we have some folders made and a couple files we can point at, a little bit of structure in our website, we, we'll make a menu system to point at the different files. And Scott said that he wanted his website to look kind of like the Super Jock and Joe one. And uh, one of the things on this is the navigation system is horizontal. Goes across the top like this. So we'll, we're going to make a menu system starts like, like, like looks like this. So it won't look exactly like that, but at least we'll get a horizontal one. And what we're going to do is place it below his banner. We want it to go underneath the banner, but above the content placeholder. So to do that, what we're going to do is come in here in the source. Give myself enough room to hit it here. So below the banner picture and above the content placeholder, go to the toolbox and go to the navigation section and grab a menu control and drag this off and pop it on here. The next thing I'm going to do is go out to the design view and click on this and right click on its Rob. Oops, right click on, come on, I'm sorry, left click on Rob and say choose data source. So uh, what we're going to do is add another control in here that makes the connection to a, an XML file. Actually, it's a special XML file called the sitemap data source that contains our data that builds our map. So I'll do that. Um, then we're, we'll put the data in here in the next, uh, in the next uh, video. But let's go now and look at making this guy horizontal. So again, I'm going to click on this menu and then come over here to menu system one and choose its orientation. Rather than making it vertical, I'm going to make its orientation horizontal. So this is it for now. Uh, this is this one just for adding the menu. That's all we do. Grab the menu, pull it off, add the sitemap data source. And again, for a horizontal menu, we'll set its orientation to horizontal down here in the properties.